Cuomo, total gangster. I went and looked at the indictment this morning. They say before he even ran for office, he sold his interest in a restaurant, a health food restaurant, and that his buddy later gave him campaign money, got friends and family to give $10,000. That's nothing. They've indicted Congressman Grimm. And I'm not saying Grimm's perfect. But the point is, compared to the real criminals, he's nothing. People can say, well, he threatened to, you know, basically kick a reporter's butt. Well, that's what real people do. Real people get mad. Real people get sick of being pushed around. And again, I'm not endorsing Grimm. The point is, his lawyer says, this is clearly part of political witch hunt and persecution. And that's what it is. Last year... The federal government repealed the law banning lies and propaganda. I want to go to this Media Matters piece, breaking it down. And this itself from Fox is a whitewash. This is so criminal. Now, Obama's political star is falling and falling fast. And they think if they don't keep power, they're never going to be in power again. And they've done so much for the globalists, the globalists are backing them. And they mean for the Democratic Party and Barack Obama to be the closing pitcher in the ninth inning. And they mean to shut the door on America forever. That's why all the neocons have lined up and said, we'll do whatever you say and arrest anybody that protests and free speech zones are good and... Bundy's a terrorist, and everybody's racist, and Alex wants a violent overthrow because you're finding out who everybody is right now because I'm telling you, I'm seeing all the signs that the establishment is intending to stage false flag terror, blame the true libertarian conservative movement, and try to shut down the Internet as we know it, bring out the new Internet, the new net neutrality systems, start persecuting everyone, and then they know a physical civil war will start, and they want that to happen, because then that will be the distraction for the economic implosion, and they will blame the economic implosion on that. So I'm going to go out to break with this Media Matters piece, and you can um, take away from it what you will. Then I'm going to come back and open the phones up for first-time callers on Ukraine, on the First Amendment, on everything that's happening, uh, on this Clipper situation. You know, at first I was like, they want to violate free speech and, and he can't own a team. Soon they'll say if they accuse you of being racist, you can't have uh, a, a job or own a company. But quite frankly, I don't see how he can continue to own the team when he said the things he said, because I hadn't seen the full quotes until last night. Uh, so I'd like to get your take on that. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. We'll take you out to break with Media Matters. All right, welcome back. Uh, for years, we've been telling you about this uh, this organization based down in Washington, D.C. called Media Matters. Their intent is to destroy Fox News, among other things. Clearly, they've got a political agenda. What's interesting is it was about a week or two ago, Cheryl Ackerson, who for years worked at CBS, she said on uh, one of the chat shows, she said the Media Matters had actually contacted her and helped her produce some of her segments on CBS which is extraordinary for CBS to be taking the stuff for propaganda from this way lefty outfit. Media Matters founder David Brock was on CNN yesterday, was asked about whether or not they do indeed work with media outlets. Here's what he had to say. So you're saying that you have a diverse number of donors, but they all have the same interests, don't they? Same liberal politics at heart. Sure. I mean, I think their interest is in honest journalism and a fair debate. And I think we think and I think our donors believe that in the vast majority of cases, if people get accurate information rather than misinformation, that's going to serve the progressive cause. Sure. And we're I open mean, about the fact that we are a liberal organization. That doesn't mean our facts are wrong. So they do coordinate and get the information to mainstream media outlets. Right. And I remember a Daily Caller story uh, a year or two ago that said they also coordinated with the White House. I, you know, I, I really think that 
you know, given the fact that Cheryl Atkinson has said that uh, she, she worked with uh, Media Matters, CBS really should come out and tell us how many stories on CBS's air and NBC and ABC did Media Matters have their political fingerprints on. Sure, I think through, that, that would be fair. Go through one by one because she just said they, quote, did try to help me produce my stories at some point. Where that point begins and ends, America deserves sure. to know. And keep in mind, also Media and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. Crashing through the lies and disinformation. It's Alex Jones, only on the GCN Radio Network. Waging war on corruption. I didn't get to the very best part at the end of that clip from Fox News. Far left Soros funded media matters helped produce CBS News reports. Folks, they run it. They run it. And who do they hate? Yours truly. 
And now you see more and more libertarian talk show hosts <clears throat> attacking this show with their talking points. And I guess Benedict Arnold has joined King George III, a.k.a. Media Matters in the White House. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that last 30 seconds where he talks about uh, the persecution. I, you know, I, I really think that you know, given the fact that Cheryl Atkinson has said that uh, she she worked with uh, Media Matters, CBS really should come out and tell us how many stories on CBS's air and NBC and ABC did Media Matters have their political fingerprints on. Sure, I think through, that, that would be fair. Go through one by one because she just said they, quote, did try to help me produce my stories at some point. Where that point begins and ends, America deserves sure. to know. And keep in mind... Also, Media Matters gets tax-exempt status to try to run us out of business. Interesting. Mm -hmm. They say they're a watchdog. They're really an attack dog. Just saying. And by the way, what he said is 100% true. A viewer watching that does, probably doesn't know. Three years ago, the memo came out that said we're going to infiltrate any media that doesn't agree with us from inside and destroy them. So we have to ask people... When they come to work here and have them sign an NDAA, do you work for the White House or Media Matters? And, and obviously, somebody could lie, but it's frightening to know we're dealing with that type of stuff. See, you don't have people sign a non-disclosure agreement so they don't disclose bad stuff you're doing. You have people sign an NDAA because they will get people in your organization and then they will use the fact they've been in your organization for credibility's sake to then claim that you've done something wrong or to tape things and then edit it to then claim that. I mean, this is serious business, folks, and it's a big deal. And so I want to know from you, the listeners, are they going to get in trouble? Because if they can ship guns into Mexico and the memo comes out to blame the Second Amendment, a false flag, if they can steal $500 million for Solyndra and then put it back into campaign money for themselves, if they can arrest Republican members of the House and indict them and indict and arrest filmmakers at Esha Souza and, and indict governors, they can come after everybody. I mean, it's every week now they're indicting some Republican leader. And it's a Justice Department that is so corrupt. I mean, if Bush had his Justice Department indicting a bunch of Democrats, I would have been freaking out. Even if the Democrats weren't perfect, it's clearly political persecution. And I've been looking at these Republicans they're going after. These people are clean for politics' sake. You know, I've had friends and stuff. Steve Lane, my friend, uh, up in Tennessee looking to run for Congress, but he's got an exploratory committee, has to raise enough money to do it. He's a great contractor, you know, um, building contractor. He's an engineer, teaches college. He co-hosted TV shows with me a few years. I know he's a great guy. I know his family. And he said, hey, will you give me a $3,000 donation, the maximum amount for my exploratory committee? And I just said, you know, I, uh, yeah, I'll give that to you. And then I, I said, but I got to talk to a campaign finance lawyer and I'm going to have my lawyer sit there with me when I give the money, because hell, they'll arrest me for totally legal money. And so now he's been asking me, saying, hey, Alex, where's the $3,000? I need that. And I'm just like, wow, I've been chilled. It's not even that. I'm just so busy. And the campaign finance laws are so vague, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if you're George Soros, you can run around and spend billions of dollars in the last 20 years funding anti-gun, anti-free speech initiatives, funding the overthrow of governments. You can be a Nazi collaborator. You know, I love the fact that he's Jewish and is a famous living Nazi collaborator. I mean, they arrest people in Germany, old 90-year-old men for much less. But then George Soros is a real Nazi collaborator, the real deal, and so he gets ADL awards. It's just crazy. If you're an insider, you can do whatever you want. Billions of dollars to manipulate the political process. And I ran for Congress for one week, not Congress, state rep, because people convinced me of it as a Republican. And I went with the lawyers and checked all the laws. And I said, you mean if I follow the book, they could still indict me later? And they said, yeah, but you're just running for the state. So the feds probably won't come after you. But the laws are written to where there's no way to follow them. And I said, that's it. I'm dropping out. Here's the 
$10,000, whatever I've raised, back to the donors, little old ladies. I'm not running because there's no way to run and not to commit a crime. And now they've done a chilling effect across the board. This is so criminal. And if they get away with this, it's over. This is a authoritarian takeover. We're on the march.